Hello friends, welcome back to the channel Learn with Art. Now the next example for designing of Turing machine, we have taken language L is equal to A raised to N, B raised to M, C raised to N, where the values of M and N are equal to 1 or greater than 1. So we will start to draw set L. So the smallest string can be a, B, C means here we have number of A is equal to number of C's means we have to match number of A's with number of C's we don't need to bother about number of B's because the power of A is equal to power of C okay so we don't need to match the number of B's with anyone okay so smallest string will be a b c next smallest string can be a b c c or a b b c next will be a a b b c c and this will go on repeating and here i have considered w is equal to double a b double c string for simulation purpose okay so here we will start with double a b double c string and our header is at leftmost of the string and we have to consider that the blank symbols are present before and after this string okay so i'll write here b b means that will represent the blank symbols okay now header is at first a okay so now we have to match number of a is equal to number of c's and we don't need to match number of b's with any of the symbol present in the string okay whenever we will encounter b's that will be replaced with b's only okay and while matching we have to match number of a's with c's so number of a's will be replaced with x and number of c's will get replaced with y's okay so at last when we will finish with number of a's it is expected that number of c's also get finished okay so we will start with the same that is first we will we have input symbol a so a we read input symbol a that a will get replaced with x and will move to right by one cell now first we will match this a with first c okay so the remaining symbols will remain as it is so a will get replaced with a's b will get replaced with b and whenever we will have first C, so that first C will get replaced with Y and now we will move back to the first position. So we will reverse the direction of header. So we will move to left by one cell while returning. We have number of B's as well as number of A's. Okay, so B's will be replaced by with B's only and A's will get replaced with A's only until we have first x okay so this x will get replaced with x and now we'll change the direction of header to right okay so here we have completed first pass okay in which we have cancelled first a with first c now this will this process will be similar for second a to second c okay so again we'll will be at second a so this a will get replaced with x and we'll move to right by one cell while replacing b will remain as it is now another, uh, we will have one extra symbol now because last time we have replaced c's with y's so y will get replaced with y's and until we have first c so whenever we will have first c that first c will get replaced with y and we will change the direction of header to left okay so now will return back to first x so the remaining symbols will remain as it is so y will get replaced with y's b will get replaced with b's and if we have a's then a's will also get replaced with a's only until we have first x to get replaced okay now we have first x x will get replaced with x and move to right here next pass will be continued okay now here in this case we have finished with number of a's because x will be replaced by x then we have only b we don't have any a remaining here to replace 
okay means what we have finished with number of a's so we have to check that we have finished with number of c's or not so for checking that we have to move to move forward move to right by one by one sale okay so here b will get replaced with b's y will get replaced with y's until we we have first blank symbol after finishing of all y's okay so y will get replaced with y's and after finishing of all y's we if we have blank symbol that means we have also finished number of c's okay so if we have number of we if we have c after y it means what we have extra c's present in the string and that string does not comes under the category of a raised to n b raised to n c raised to n because here we haven't replaced a's but we have c to get replaced okay means we have extra number of c's present in the given string okay that means we have wrong string okay so here in this case we have finished with number of c's also okay so blank will be replaced by blank and here we don't need to move forward so no more moves are required okay so if you are getting the simulation of the given string you should try once for the another string press that comes under the category of l okay so if you are comfortable with this then we will start to draw the turing machine so first we will start with initial state that is q0 okay so the diagram will be similar like a 0 raised to n 1 raised to n just we have added the number of b's in between these two okay so first a will get replaced with x and we'll move to right by one sale okay so now we will have number of a's so a will get replaced with a's and move to right by one sale and this will be the cycle for number of a's after that whenever we have first b so that first b also get replaced with b's only so the transition will be like b will get replaced with b's and move to right by one sale okay so if we have finished with b's if we encounter with first c then that c will get replaced with y and now we have to change the direction of header to left okay so we'll move to left okay now while returning we have to again replace the content so while returning we will have number of b's if we have number of b's then b's will not be replaced with any other character so b will get replaced with b's and move to left and also we may occur with number of a's so a will get replaced with a's and move to left until we have first x okay so when we have first x that x will get replaced with x and now we have to change the direction that is move to right because we have to start with the second pass okay in which we will replace second a with x okay so here we will come to state q0 from where we can start the second pass that is a will get replaced with x and move to right okay so now while moving we will encounter with number of a's that will be replaced by a number of b's will will be replaced by b's and one more character we will have now that is number of y's so y will also get replaced with y's and move to right until we have first c to get replaced okay so again if we have c first c so that will be replaced with y and now move to left okay so while returning again we have number of y's also so y will get replaced with y's move to l then we have number of b's number of a's okay so until we will reach the first x so we will we will be at step q0 
Q0 only. Okay. So, suppose consider that we have finished with number of A's. Then we have to check number of C's also get finished. Okay. So, now we, uh, how we can recognize the number of A's are finished or not. So, after replacing X by X, we will move to right. And instead of A, if we will have number of B's. Okay, that means we have finished with number of A's. Okay, so instead of A, if we have number of B, so we are at state Q0 and if we have input symbol B, then B will get replaced with B's and move to right because we want to check that whether the number of C's are finished or not. Okay, so this will be state Q3 and we have to repeat this for the remaining number of B's. Also, if after B's we have number of Y's also. So, Y will get replaced with Y. Okay. Now, we have to check that after finishing off all Y's, if we will encounter with blank symbol, that means number of C's are also over. So, blank symbol will be replaced with blank symbol and we don't need to move anywhere. So, that means no more moves at all. So, we'll reach to state QF that will be final state. Okay. So, here it also checks that number of C's are finished or not. If they are finished, that means we have number of A is equal to number of C's. So, this is the diagram for required line weight that is A raised to N, B raised to M, C raised to N. Here we don't need to calculate how many number of B's are present in the given string. If you have any queries or if you have such type of languages, want to build Turing machine for the same, then also you can comment on it. If you like my videos, then please share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.